up guys it's Elijah and George you're back with another video today we are at Donny Park for the eighth oh, blah, for the eighth event clowning around at Donny Park I hope you enjoyed this video let's get into it so they are making us walk all the way to Thunderhawk because that's where ERT starts like why the hell are they making us walk to Thunderhawk So like if anything goes wrong, it's like long term fixes the ride and it's like day to day you have to like on the fly figure stuff out. I just wrote this um Al, but happy one hundred birthday. Wait, actually, wait. Wasn't it one hundred years ago last year? Actually, wait out. No. I keep thinking it opened in nineteen twenty three, but then I just remember it opened in nineteen twenty four. So we're gonna be running Scrambler, which I would definitely take this over Thunderhawk, but Thunderhawk's still a good ride, kind of. So we just got off Steel Force because of so for whatever reason Steel Force was open. It, it wasn't even supposed to be. So I think we're going for another ride. So because your teeth like only 10 more minutes, so we gotta be hella fast. Wildcat Revenge. So someone just said it looks smooth and I'm like, you don't stay. <laughs> Cause it's, it, I, I mean, it does look smooth, but in reality it's kind of honestly not. Just got off Iron Menace and I, so these guys liked it. So I'm forcing them on the end seats cause they will absolutely uh, like despise the end seats. They, they, they will think, oh, this dropped from like a 10 to like a five. <laughs> Still me, you guys are out here, enjoy a ride on Iron Menace. Later. My last ride was this, I do not know how this did not fall off or like fall out of my pocket like I forgot to take footage on the side and this was in my pocket and oh my god This was, this was in my pocket and I'm surprised this didn't fall out I'm gonna go to the Iron Man. It's time to get the or to take the group photo. I don't know. I don't know how um we're gonna how we're gonna I'm gonna get that in this video, but I'll see. I'll see. Yeah, I don't know if I might not be able to even show it in this video. I don't know. So we just got off of Possessed, um, so I feel like they kind of fixed it because what it used to do is they like would like launch out of the station but then it would kind of like the launch would slow it down, I don't know how to explain it but then this time the launch was like it was continuous so like it didn't slow down. I'll try to get some footage.
do you think of that twist? That's what's going on, revolution. Oh, and I just ate at the new Iron Man Festival or whatever it is. Um, I, I ate had macaroni and cheese. I feel like the macaroni and cheese was kind of dry. Yeah, I feel like the macaroni and cheese was kind of dry. But let's get... Okay, let's get on revolution. So next, guys, we're gonna go to... Um, oh my God, this one's a little bit we're gonna go to just focus these. Okay, we're gonna go do this thing with this area. It's the Red Tailed Hawk presentation. It's the Red Tailed Hawk presentation. That seems very cool. Like, because apparently from what I heard, there's gonna be a, a real Red Tailed Hawk. And I think the reason I think that is because it's Thunderhawk's 100th anniversary. So, like I said, happy birthday, Thunderhawk. And um, these clouds are not looking so friendly. Um, yeah. Uh, hold what we're doing. We're going to take a photo and then we're going to resume right outside. If you have completed your build, please head to the back of the building so that you can get your nano coaster for the photo. And everyone else, we're just going to have what you've done so far in the picture and we'll have you finish and put it in when you're complete, okay? But Say cheese. Say Thunderhawk. Say we built better than Bob. All right, guys. Well, we have all of our contestants. The Red Tailed Hawk presentation is coming on in a few minutes. I won't record the full thing, um, but I will record like highlights. Like you, you probably only see like five steps because I only record five steps. But it's 12.27 when I just coming on in like three minutes. And protect land over 60,000 acres and counting um, will never be developed. It will remain wild and it will remain open to the public for hiking and a time to uh, commune with nature. That's our goal is to protect as much wild land as possible. So today I'm just going to introduce to you one of the animals that wildlands helps protect and take care of by continuing to give it a place to live and a habitat. So I'm gonna ask as loud as it is out there that maybe you guys stay as quiet as you can because she's easily stressed, okay? Um, This, ladies and gentlemen, is my co-educator, my educator ambassador. Her name is Cyclops. We call her Cy for short. And this is a bird you've all seen flying around and um, in great numbers. This is a red-tailed hawk. And I'm gonna turn her around so you can see that beautiful red tail that she's known for. They don't. Yeah, 
they don't develop that red tail until maturity, so around one to two years of age. Yeah. But we're gonna start talking a little bit about what makes this particular bird really adaptable to a variety of different habitats. You can find them in grasslands, you can find them in deserts, you can find them in mountainous areas, forests, wide open places. And here in the Lehigh Valley, you can find them on telephone poles, uh, the edges of buildings and the tops of trees, especially those trees lining cedar crest. You can see them up at the top, looking out over the open spaces for something to eat. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about Sai. She's about 10 years old. She was born in 2014. She's been with, she's been with us since 2018. She's gonna be a little stressed. I'm going to talk a little slower. She's missing her left eye. She was in a vehicle collision. She was brought into a rehab for an eye injury. The eye was later removed. Put your beautiful hand down. I know. I know. She's going to eat a variety of different foods. She's going to look for squirrels, pigeons, mice rats, rabbits, um, groundhogs, and she's gonna eat what's available to her. So, um, though this hawk is normally found in outdoor spaces and forested areas, I don't know if many of you know this, but they have now taken over Manhattan. So you can find the red-tailed hawks in New York City now um, one was introduced, I think one, they called him Pale Male, I think he's um, since uh, de uh, deceased, but I am going to keep an eye out on her stress level though, because she shouldn't become too stressed. Her mouth parted that way tells me that she's a little upset right now. So I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite things about the red tail hawk, and one of them is her amazing vision. She has very, very sharp vision, very um, 10 times that of a human being. She can see from circling above uh, 100 feet down a little mouse. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know. I'm going to try to get her back on. is bad. Let's keep that quick. Um, she can swoop down, however, upwards of 120 miles an hour. When I tell you I've not ridden one of these in like years, I've not ridden one since like 2015. So we rode, well, first we went to see the hawk show, then we rode, um, the whip, then we would enterprise. Enterprise also, always, like, is a good time every time I ride her. The kid up there, like, loved it. Like, it was a good suggestion I made. Like, I suggested we should ride her. But now we're gonna go to Talon. So, yeah. Oh, I never noticed that. There's actually a gift shop right there. Now I'm going to lunch. Lunch is in a different place than last year. Last year it was in the Parcel Pavilion up there. This, this year it's actually in the center stage, which I feel like is a better place for lunch because like the Parcel Pavilion, it's actually, except it's kind of confusing because how are they going to like solve it? Cause it doesn't have like the solving things like they did in the Parcel Pavilion, you know? But, oh, look, and the bus. See, yeah. I, I went on that and that's amazing. But um, I'm gonna walk to the uh, center stage. Let's go. Dorney Park to erect this fine Ace Coaster landmark. And members of the American Coaster Enthusiasts are also joining us today. So yep, give it up for them too. Thank you for being here. Although, 
Thunderhawk was just a simple out and back ride called the Coaster back in 1924. It would set the table for generations, creating memories for millions of enthusiasts and families across the globe, not just here in the Lehigh Valley. Today, we not only get to share some of those memories with you, and I know Tom has plenty of stories for us, we also get to say thank you to the men and women that have worked so hard to preserve this fine ride. Also, before I start, in addition to saying thanks to Ace and Philadelphia Toboggan for being with us today, I also want to thank the mayor of Allentown. The mayor is here. Matt, hello. Thank you for being here today. The president of the South Whitehall Township Board of Commissioners, Diane Kelly, is here today. Diane, thank you for being here. The vice president of the South Whitehall Township Board of Commissioners, Monica Hodges, is here today. Monica, thank you for being here today. And I also wanted to give a thank you to the governor's office, Governor Josh Shapiro's office, Senator Jarrett Coleman's office, and Representative Mike Schlossberg's office, who were all instrumental in helping me organize this event today. Thank you very much, and if any of you are in attendance, thank you for being here today. All right, we're going to move to talk a little bit more about Thunderhawk today, as I mentioned. Thank you so much, Ryan, and thank you to everybody for being here today. Um, in a year full of exciting new things, it's ironic uh, that brings what brings us all together here today is a 100-year-old roller coaster. But that's really the story of Thunderhawk. Rides have come and gone, people have come and gone, but Thunderhawk remains. Through the years, its 65-foot drop, 45-mile-per-hour speeds, and classic figure eight have delighted guests of all ages. And it's possible because of the countless men and women who have worked to maintain it. In Pennsylvania, we celebrate and cherish our history. And it's with that in mind that I'd like to welcome the team from Philadelphia to Boggan Coasters to the stage. So Tom, we have uh, something a little more exciting coming for you. But uh, for now, we've got something that we wanted to hand you as a thank you for 100 years of service to Dorney Park and Thunderhawk. All right. I think Tom's going to give a speech because Tom never misses a minute. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me here. Um, I got to make it absolutely clear that I was not here 100 years ago when this was built. No matter what Cliff Aaron said. But I have been with the company for 47 years, and I've owned it for the last 32 years. Um, this is amazing. 25 years ago, I was here, right around this area, when it was the 75th anniversary, and I thought, this is pretty cool. This is just amazing. 100 years. The Dorney family, the Ott family, the, the family now at Wright Cedar Fair, they maintain it, they run it, they, they trust us to take the cars in every year, and we do a winter overhaul for them, and it's just a pleasure. When they needed new trains back in 2016, Mike fell over there, it's nodding his head with the glasses. And, uh, he was the general manager at the time, and he invited us up here, and we sat and talked about it, what they wanted. We changed the style a little bit in the front end, and then and all the uh, lapping, uh, lapping, the uh, locking lap bars, but it's still. I got this. I forget what it was, what it was called, but it was like actually really good. I got Coke and I got chicken. Oh, and I got fried ravioli. There's not really anything happening in the ERT. I was, I'm gonna stop now and I'll see you guys back at 10 p.m. with the ERT, which it's supposed to rain, so hopefully it doesn't, but I'll see you guys then. Well, I'm probably gonna leave because 
I'm kind of tired, so my mom's coming to pick me up. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insane amusement or for more insane videos here at Horizon Toys. I make some of the most high quality roller coaster content you will ever find. But with that said, I'm Horizon Toys, and we'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace.